Hello, welcome to a follow-up coding challenge quick draw again thingy mabob. Quick draw API web component edition. <laughs> so uh, previously in a coding challenge, I downloaded a large data file from the Google Quick Draw data set. I talked about what the Google Quick Draw data set is. It's just a collection of millions and millions of these doodles that people made playing the Google Quick Draw game. Um, and I created a node server locally on my computer to open that very large data file and pass information about the drawings to a JavaScript program that would read that information and then replay the drawings in a canvas. Basically, almost to the day that I released that coding challenge, Google came out with something new called the Quick Draw Component. And what the Quick Draw Web Component is, it allows you to actually, using markup and importing a JavaScript file, just actually embed Quick Draw um, doodles in a web page. I'm not going to do that in this video. What I'm going to do is actually show you how to use the API directly to pull the data from the drawing yourself so that you can draw it in a canvas. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do, just to be clear, I know that wasn't clear at all. I'm going to do exactly what I did in the previous coding challenge, but instead of downloading a very large data file and spinning up my own node server, I'm just going to ask the Google API itself for a drawing. And then I'm going to go eat lunch. I should probably go eat lunch now. Or maybe, maybe like pizza is one or something. Actually, I'm not a big pizza eater, but I'll, we'll pick some food-themed drawing. And just to be sure that I, it's actually working to do it this way, I am going to do this in the P5 web editor so that I can be sure that you can be sure that I'm not like secretly downloading a big file running a node server somewhere. Why would I do that though? Okay, <clears throat> so here's the thing. It's a bit confusing. Uh, because this is so new, this API is, is available, it's out there, but it's a bit confusing to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to um, this uh, GitHub repository, quickdraw-component, and then down here, somewhere in here, you're going to want to find this join the quickdraw API Google group. Now, by the time you're watching this, this may have changed, <laughs> but I will hopefully keep the code up to date, but maybe the sign-up process will have changed. So as soon as you go to the Google Quick Draw API Google group, I joined, you'll end up this page, click join, you'll need some sort of Google account. Then you're going to want to go to your Google API dashboard. So here I am, I'm at console.developers.google.com slash API slash dashboard. There are a lot of APIs there that you could look at. And what I'm going to do is now search for Quick Draw. Now, I made a project by accident, which I didn't mean to, um, but this is what I'm looking for. Quick draw exclamation point data API private. Now, this will not appear for you to you unless you join that Google group. <laughs> so that's a little bit of the confusing thing, at least at the time that I'm doing this today, November something 2018. It's like the 25th, 26th, something like that. All right. So I'm going to click here to, um, oh, and I need to make a project. So I'm going to call this project. So I want to first create a project. Just yeah, try to click enable. I'm going to do this, call this coding train uh, test. I'm going to hit create. And then I'm going to go back and search again for quick draw, quick comma draw. <laughs> and I'm going to grab this here. Uh, no, OK. Uh, oh, here we are. <laughs> Somehow I made it through the coding train test project. You want to create a project and get to your coding train, or your, well, you're not going to call it coding train, get to your project page. Now, I'm going to find that API. It takes a minute for the project to, uh, to actually be created. I think I was going too quickly there. I'm going to go to Quick Draw Data API. Aha, there we go. Now I'm on this page. Now I'm going to click Enable. Okay, so now I have this API enabled. The next thing that I want to do is go here under Credentials because I'm going to need an API key. So I'm going to go here under Credentials. Uh, what, uh, uh, here's my API key. Fantastic. So here's the thing. I am going to regenerate this API key as soon as I finish this video. So you won't be able to use it. You'll have to create your own. Um, and I'm going to copy it very quickly just over here now in my code. I'm just going to add it at the top as a comment so I always remember it. Okay. So here's the thing. I should mention that 
Um, this, while you can do, you can use the API, I'm going to do that right now. If you're going to use this for a large project, you might want to actually consider self-hosting the API, which is kind of what I did in the previous video, but actually using Google's um, code, which is probably much more robust and has a lot more possibilities. But once I have my API key, all I need to do, and I'm going to scroll down here to uh, API middleware, I just need to go to this particular URL. I'm going to use the load JSON function in P5. I'm going to paste this in here. So now what I want to do is I want to say drawing category. I know that cat is a category. I'm going to say ID. So I could ask for a very specific drawing, but I think I can actually just say random to get a random one and then get my API key. And then, uh, and then I don't, is animated. I don't want it animated. And format equals I want it JSON. Like I want to get that JSON. So let's see if I take this URL now. <laughs> Not found. All right, I'm back. So interestingly enough, even though the documentation says um, ID required, ID number or random, I thought this mean, means I can actually type random into the URL query string, but maybe not. <laughs> because now if I go back here and I just zoom in up here and get rid of ID equals random, just start with key, I can see, there we go. Each time I do this, I'm going to get a random cat drawing uh, here in JSON. So look at this. Uh, lovely. All right, so great. We're now using this API. So I can go back here. I can go back to my code. And um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a constant URL equals. So I'm just going to save this. And obviously, I would want to do something more. I could do so much here by I could actually form the URL with the particular category, but cat, you know, agori. Um, but right now, I am just going to keep that. And I'm going to, in setup, I'm going to say load JSON URL got cat. I'm going to give it a callback, got cat. And I'm going to write this got cat function um, drawing. And I'm just going to say console.log drawing. So let's see that in P5, if I actually, and I'm going to take get rid of the draw function, if I've actually got, there we go, drawing. So this looks like, there it is. So you can see down here in the console, all that data came in. So all that data came in, so I've got the cat, and now, guess what? I can draw it. Okay. So uh, let's just make this 255, 255. So, oh, I wonder if this is the simplified data. So looking back at the documentation, I just realized is animated is animated, if I set that to true, I will get the data back that actually has the timing information related to how the user drew the drawing in down to the millisecond, but which in my previous coding challenge, I didn't bother to use. I just used the simplified data, which is just the X and Y values of the particular path that the user, um, that the user drew. <laughs> and uh, it also is reduced, normalized to uh, 255 by 255 pixel square. So I want to use the simplified data just to make my life easier because, as I mentioned, I need to go get something to eat. Is pizza one of the categories? So let's try pizza. Um, yeah, looks like pizza came in as something. So now what I'm going to do here is in got cat, which I'm now going to call got pizza. <laughs> Uh, got pizza, what I'm going to do, I really, I could just go to my previous code. Do I dare? Uh, GitHub.com slash coding train website. Um, and I'm going to go to coding challenges all the way down to quick coding challenge 122, quick draw, sketch.js. And this is the code right here where I, in draw, where I draw that particular pattern. So I'm going to grab that. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, yeah, let's, oh, look at this. Basically, actually, here's the thing. This whole thing, uh, there's no reason for me to rewrite this. Uh, just to prove that this works, this is the entire code. And I am going to go back to my code. I'm going to paste my entire thing in here. The only thing I'm going to change is instead of my own node server slash cat, I am going to go to the particular URL. Now, there might be some slight differences here, but let's see what happens. Uh, blocked by cores. Oh, I didn't have the cores problem before. 
Hi, I'm back and I'm moving very quickly because the reason it wasn't working wasn't my code, wasn't some mistake I made, wasn't the dreaded cores error. It was that I exceeded my quota. Now, how could I possibly have exceeded my quota? Because I certainly did not make <laughs> something like 19,000 API requests in the last few minutes. And in fact, somebody watching this, this is why we can't have nice things, people. Um, must have taken the API key. So I have a different API key, and because I talked for too long, it probably also just got used. But let's hope uh, it's here in this sketch. I'm gonna run it. 429 error. <laughs> so let me at least show you what the error is. Uh, it, I thought this was a cores error, but it's actually the server responded with the error 429, and 429 is uh, an issue with the key. So. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna conquer this. I'm going away, I'm gonna generate a new key, and then I'm going to immediately run it for the first time live before anybody can possibly get it. All right, I'm gonna conquer you, internet. Thank you to me, I am Sumi, for the suggestion. What I'm gonna do, I already started doing this. I'm gonna create an input field, key input. I'm gonna say key input equals, equals create input, uh, with nothing in it. So, oh, let me do, I'll put on auto refresh here. Oh, and let me un uncomment this out. Okay. So now we should see there's this input field, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say key input dot attribute. This is all the P5 DOM library. Uh, type is a password. So what this means is anything that I type in here, you can't see. And then when I call new cat, I'm actually going to say, I'm going to get the API key is key input dot value. So I'm going to get the input from the value. <laughs> My brain is not speaking anymore. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to get the API key from there. And then I'm going to, with what I did to this URL, is I just left it with key equals blank at the end. So now I am going to say plus API key. So if the API key is in here, if the API key is in here, then what will happen is it will pull it from there. You won't be able to see it. It will pass it to the, you won't need to do this. You don't need to be crazy. I'm just here trying to defeat the internet. And unfortunately, I might have made a mistake, but hold on. So I'm gonna get rid of the screen behind me I'm going to go get my API key. I'm going to put it in my clipboard. I'm going to put this back. And I'm going to paste it in. <laughs> oh! Syntax error, syntax error. What's going on? <gasps> All right, new cat is commented out. That was a problem. I think what I want to also do is create a button. Uh, like start. Uh, and then I'm going to say start, start equals create button. Start equals create button. Start. And then I'm going to say start mouse pressed new cat. So now... Okay, now I should, the sequence should be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna look at the work. I'm gonna paste my API key in there. Then I'm gonna click the start button. Then I should start seeing my cats. And they won't be cats, they'll be pizza, because I'm gonna go eat lunch, but probably just a salad. Okay. <sighs> Here it comes again. <gasps> Disappear. Quick, get my API key. Then paste this in here. You can see it again. Now I'm going to hit start. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can get another pizza. There we go. Every time I press start, we'll get a pizza. Um, so anyway, you can see now, I, well, there was a point to this. The whole point to this was that the exact same code I wrote in the previous coding challenge, I can now run from anywhere 
by using the official Quick Draw API from Google. I might have to just come back and do this video again, but it, it's going to exist in some form because this was all too insane. Um, so I am going to take this away so that nobody sees my key by accident, and I will see you in a future coding challenge. Duh.